Hello and welcome back. So in this episode, we are creating our login and sign up page, right? So here, when somebody clicks here, they go to the login page, login.html. But because there's .html at the end, which and there's no controller named login.html, you will notice that no matter what I click here, I'm still on the same page. I'm not going anywhere else. And that's how it works because this is what we told it to do. If the controller doesn't exist, we send it to the uh, we send it to the to the index.php page. Now you could, uh, if you want to, send the people to the 404. Uh, send somebody to the 404 page if you don't find the page. But what we can do is this instead. So what I would do is I'll go to controller here. This is the main controller that's inside core. Okay. So if the file exists, the view. So we are looking at the views here. So if the file exists, show the view. But if the file does not exist, let's show a 404 instead. So let's put an else statement here. And then let's me copy exactly this. And instead of this path, I'm just going to say 404. Okay, so 404. Now the thing is, inside views, there's a folder for our theme. So this is a candidate for the config. So let's go to the config.php inside core. And let's add one more definition here. So I'm going to define what our theme name is. So I'm going to say theme, something like that, comma, and then the text will be eShop. Now eShop is going to define our theme because that's the folder that our themes are. So if I go back to eShop here, you will notice that inside views, there's an eShop folder which is exactly the same folder if you go to the public folder, assets, and then there's another eShop there coming down here. So that is our theme. So in case the next time you, you want to use a different theme, you just come in here and change that value to another folder that you will create and everything will change. So if we go back to the header, for example, there's this part where there's eShop in here. So we're going to replace eShop with a theme, okay? So I'm going to copy all this. Uh, that's theme, wait a minute. Let me go back to the config. I think eShop with a slash at the end like that, it's better to do it that way because that's a theme folder. So you can just say theme, if you want theme or theme folder, that's up to you. So let me go back to the header here. Select all, find all, and then uh, replace like so. And then I'm going to move a few steps in there so that I go back inside there and put a dot. And then I'm just going to say theme like that. Okay, so we are connecting that to that. So let's see if this actually works. And there we go. So you see it, it's actually working. Very good. So the reason I've done this is when I come back to controller here, instead of just putting 404 there, and just like the path that is here, we can include the theme if you want to. So that way you don't have to say eShop or whatever it is. We're just going to say theme here. So what I will do here, I will put theme like so, or instead of me having to type it here all the time, I will delete that like so and just give the name of the page itself. It's much cleaner this way. So now I can come back to the main controller in core and then right here before path, I will put theme dot and the same thing here. So copy this, same thing there, and same thing here. Close that out like so, and then put this back in business like that. Okay, 
So it's better we have issues here than the other side. So refresh. Oh, something wrong. So line 14 on controller has a problem. Line 14, this is the one here. So what seems to be the problem? What is the error? Warning include no such file was found. Failed to find 404. So 404 was not found. Oops. Okay, so why is it looking for 404? So if file exists, uh, we are connecting that. If it does not, we connect, we include that. Okay, for now, I think, let me remove this for now. While we are still building this, then uh, we can check it out later. Okay. So everything has loaded here, but it seems uh, we have gone back to a situation where we don't have our... Let me go back to the home controller. There is an index controller here. Oops, what did I do wrong? Okay, so from the look of things, it seems uh, we have lost our CSS again. So it means let's go back to our template. Oh yeah, this is my bad. Let me go back to the header. That's because I added this slash at the end, which I already added uh, when defining the theme here. Okay, so what I need to do is go to the header and remove this slash here. So instead of doing all this, I can just undo eShop like that and then delete press delete delete go back twice point theme space save this should work oops it's not working okay so since it's not working here all right so it's possibly where we're including it that's where the problem is so let's go to index.php oh uh, that's right. So I should remove this eShop here because we've changed how that works. So let me go down to the footer as well. Oh, the footer is quite far. And remove that eShop there so we don't have to type it all the time. Uh, there we go. Okay. So that's much better. Things uh, seem to be working fine now. Okay. So also down here where I'd changed uh, these assets and then this eShop here with a slash there like this. So we should also replace that with uh, theme instead. So let me press Ctrl F to find and say find all. Delete that. Move a few steps forward and type theme space. So back to see that nothing has changed. Okay. So at this point, we are good to go so that we can uh, begin our login page. So to create our login page is uh, very simple. We just go to controllers. Anytime you want to create a new page, you just go to controllers, right click and say new file. And then just go to the home controller, copy what's in here, come back to your new file, paste. Let's save this one. This will be login.php. So it's important that the file name of your controller is exactly the name of the class. It extends controller. We'll leave that. We'll leave the index function here, which is good. And then the name here, we're going to say login like that. And then the name, the, uh, the file that we will be looking for is login. And that's about it. So now the only thing I have to do is go to my actual folder, which maybe I can do right here, which is, uh, what file is that? Uh, login.php, so it's already there, so which is good. So if I write uh, refresh and click on login, I should go to the login page, but 
The problem is if you look down here, the login page is sending us to login.html. So we have to change that inside the header so that we remove all the .html. So let's find every .html out here. So I'm going to press Ctrl F and say .html. So I'm going to say find all and delete those. Okay, so refresh the page and let me go to login. Now it's only login. So if I click on login, it takes me to this uh, page, which is good. Now let's clean up the login page a little bit. So login.php controller, and then let's click on login.php page here. So the thing we need to clean up is, of course, we don't need the header. So let me go up to where the header ends here, go all the way up here and delete everything. Then of course I'll go to the index.php and copy exactly what I did here. Copy the, the include, come back here and paste it. Okay, so that we can include our header. Let me go down, oh wait a minute, log into your account, that's fine. So now I'm going to go down to the footer, okay? So the footer ends here. So now this is interesting here because we have all these uh, JavaScript files which are required. So what I will do is just remove the footer itself from here and leave those JavaScript files intact. And where is the header? Okay, the footer is ending there. So let me paste, boom, and then put footer. Okay, so what we will do instead is, because we don't need this body and HTML, they're already inside the footer. So this goes out, but we will need these guys. So let me just cut these and then take this to the footer.php and right at the bottom. Oh, actually I didn't know that these were already here. My bad, sorry. So these are already accounted for. The only thing we have to change, of course, is this eShop here so that uh, it automatically changes for us. Let me find all, remove, go in there, dot theme. Okay, so refresh the page and we should be good to go. So everything uh, look is looking good. Okay, so things are looking fine. All right, so in the next video, we're going to make the login and sign up page actually work. So I'll see you then.